Good morning. It is a humid, sticky, cloudy Saturday morning, and instead of doing any yard sailing today, I have to pick up a couple things from town. So we're gonna do a supply run here in this video. First thing I need to get is some more cracked corn. This is the treat that I feed my chickens. You know I treat them like my little babies, and I need to get some more of this before they get upset with me. I also need to get some pea seeds. I wanna plant peas right here. If you've been following along with me, this is my garden for this year. And I wanna plant peas right here and like right here and have them grow all up this thing, all the way up. And then on top of that, if you come over here, I wanna get some cucumbers seeds that I can plant right here and have them grow up on this thing. And then I'm gonna also plant some in the back there. If you watch my other videos, you'll see a little more of that. Look at this cat. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, the belly, oh, the belly. I also need to stop in and visit my mom and we'll see what else happens along the way. So join me, if you will, on today's grand adventure. My mom asked that I bring her Kindle. She has two of them. I don't really know much about Kindles, but this is the one and then this is the other one. So I'm just gonna take them both and see which one she needs because I really have no idea. I considered taking Bear on this trip, but unfortunately she just ended up getting stuck in the car the whole time. So I'll just leave her at home to take a nap right now. And then when I get home, she can come out and join me. Down here is the place that I'm going. It's called Agway and they have pretty much everything that you need for outdoor gardening and supplies and animal stuff. So hopefully they have what I'm looking for here. One stop shop. I got my cucumbers and my peas and down here is my corn. This place is great. And what did I spend? The cracked corn for a 50 pound bag was $8.50 plus tax and these are labeled. So I spent a total of $12.40 on all of this. It's always fun trying to get out of here because there's pretty much a blind corner right here. And then this side isn't much better either. So you kind of just have to take your, uh, your fate in your own hands here and make a dash for it. I will tell you one thing, I am being super efficient today. After that one stop shop at Agway, all I had to do is drive up the hill and I'm here to visit my mom and hopefully I have the Kindle that she needs somewhere in here. So did I bring the right one? Yeah, this is the one I want. The black one? Looks like it's doing something, and that's been sitting for a while, too. We're having problems with this. This is the Galaxy Tab that I got my mom, and the charger thing is kind of messed up, so we're hoping that it holds a charge. It looks like it is. It was at 5% when it came in and fixed it, and it's at 6 right now, so it just might take a while. Look at that guy. Do you have to, uh, like that? Oh. Check you don't even remember, do you? Looks like it's half-charged. Sweet. And all your books are still on there, or does it have to connect to the internet? That's in the cloud. Let's let's click this once. Oh. I think it was trying to connect to the internet to see if it could find any books on there, which you can do that from here. But looks like all your books are there. Yeah. Just keep you busy for a while. It says Wi-Fi networks available. Yeah. You want to connect that to the Wi-Fi? I'll go out and see what the Wi-Fi password is. And click. Yeah. Looks like it works. You're online. It's now at 7%. Moving very slowly but surely, it's working. So now you got two devices. And that should hopefully get you all set up. I'm worried about plugging that into charge. This one, I wouldn't count on it because that charger is... It's not good. Like that, I had to really jam that in there to get it to work, so... This might become your primary device, at least for now, until I can get you a different one. I think this would be garbage. Just throw it away? That was the first Kindle I got. I haven't used that since I got this one. I haven't used this one since I got that one. <laughs> all the upgrades. So say you get me a new tablet. Can you transfer all that info from there to... Yeah, because it's logged in under your Google account, that'll all come right over. Most of it will. Because I had to replace my phone, the same thing happened. So all your stuff will come over, all your apps, you'll just have to reinstall them and stuff like that. So I have a lot of games on there I play. Yeah, I don't know if it'll keep your progress and stuff, but I hope so. Man, you got that whole screen filled up. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got 13, 14, 15 games Oh my goodness, there. what's your favorite game that you play? Well, I'm into these two right now. What are they? Juice Jim. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm into the, this one right here. YouTube. Have you heard of that game? I'm into that one. Have you put any new videos on there? Like oh yeah. I always got new videos coming up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all done in town. Now it's time to go back home. Oh, what do we got? What's this? 
Come on, we gotta take us out here. I got this toad all filled up nice for the chickens, and the good news is I still have like half a bag left, so I won't have to buy this for quite some time. Are you serious right now? That definitely isn't for you. <laughs> oh, chickens! I got something for you guys. These chickens just love this corn and I try to spread it all throughout their entire yard here so it keeps them very busy. They're walking all over looking for stuff and they will pick every little piece of that up. I can assure you that. To store this, I just put that in there so no mice come out, and then I put the lid on it, just like that. Now we've got some planning to do. Got our cucumbers, which are the straight eights, and then I got sugar snap peas, so we'll do that next. We'll do the easy part first. We'll start with the peas, and all I need here is just this little shovel, and right under this trellis where I showed you earlier, I'm just gonna dig a little ditch on both sides, like that, and I'm gonna do it over right here as well because you kind of want, you don't want the peas just to grow up one side of this, you want them to go up both sides. So you just dig yourself a little thing like that. These things are gonna grow no matter what, so you don't have to be too careful about it. But this is my garden for the year, so I wanna take my time and make sure I do it right. And since I have a whole bag of these things, I'm gonna go a little crazy in planting because there's just no reason not to, as some fall over here. So I'm gonna end up having a pea plant over here. But just sprinkle them just like that, and on this side as well, spread them out. That's it. I felt like there's usually more in there than that. So I'll spread them out a little bit better. That should be good enough. Now you just plant, put your uh, soil right back on top. Lastly, just get your stuff out of the way and put some water on there. And that's how you grow peas in two minutes or less. If you want to, you can take your cucumber seeds and put them right in the ground just like I did with the peas and they'll grow just fine. But I like to do things a little differently. I like to take these leftover plastic things that the tomatoes came in and I like to put a couple cucumber seeds in each one of these just to get them started. And then I transplant them around the shed. I used all the garden soil I had so I had to steal for myself. So I'm just gonna dig in here and I'm gonna start filling these up one by one. And this is the same stuff that the cucumbers will grow in, so it should be make for a nice transplant. Now for the fun part, take our cucumber seeds out of here. You get a ton of these, no way I'm using all of them. But I'm just going to take a little grouping of these and I'm going to put them in. Maybe I'll do like, uh, it's about an inch deep, so I'll do a couple holes in here. And just put a couple in there like that. We'll see what grows out here. I'll thin this out as they come in. You just put them in there, cover them up. Can't be afraid to get your fingers dirty. I'm dropping seeds all over. I'm only going to plant four of these, so it doesn't really make a difference. I'm just going to put them all in. And we'll see what grows and what doesn't. Add some water. I'm not really liking the look of those two right there. I think I'd like to put a little more of that garden soil I put in. This is all just a random mix, so we'll go like that. No science here, it just kind of works. And we'll put a little more water in. What the heck? It drains right out the bottom if you put too much in. And according to the packaging, these germinate in 7 to 14 days, so it won't be long until I have myself some cucumbers. 
So there you go, that's my Saturday morning. I really debated on whether to make this video and whether to share it, just because it's all very small stuff, but collectively, it made up my Saturday morning. And I was listening to a podcast the other day, and they said there's four things that you can do with a piece of content, and that's to entertain, encourage, inspire, or educate. And hopefully I did at least one of those things. You're really hitting it when you do all four, but if you can do one, you got yourself a video, and that's what I hope to do here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Come on, Roxy Bear. Good girl.